we are at the Patricia Grand Resort in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. You're looking at the front entrance. This building is massive. And as you can see, you have many, many options when staying here. Directly across the street, you will find the parking deck. It is seven levels to this parking deck, so you will not have a problem trying to find parking. But I will tell you this, it is tight. So if you drive anything other than a small sedan, it's going to be a strategic move that you're gonna to have to make to park your car without any damage to your car. As you enter into the Patricia Grand, the check-in desk is immediately to your front. To the right, you're going to see that you will have free DVD rentals with your stay. So all you have to do is go into this kiosk machine right here and put your room key in and you can just rent as many DVDs as you want and just bring them back. It's almost like the red box. Let me go ahead and mention that this hotel resort is actually a pet friendly resort. But I will say, although it's pet friendly, you actually forget that there are pets here. There, it has been no issues for us at our stay. And to the right of the DVD rentals, you will see your business center. I know what y'all already say, how is this a business center? No one uses business centers anymore. So I guess they just figured out that this would be a good solution for those that does need to print a boarding pass or get on the internet really quickly. But, you know, having a big business center these days is a waste of space. The area we're in right now, we really do not know what is utilized for. It has not been used the entire time we've been here. It may be just a, a little overflow and seating for what you're about to see next, which is they have a Starbucks on site. So this may, before COVID, this may have been the seating area for you to enjoy your Starbucks or your snacks that you get from this bar right here. And immediately to your left of the Starbucks, this is where you start finding your elevators to go to your different floors, which if you're looking at the building, these elevators are for the right side of the building. Where you seen us just come from in front of the check-in counter, you can also go to the left and you will have this exact setup on the other side. Then you continue to go around the corner and you will find some vending machines and thank God that we're in the age of technology where vending machines has the card swiping mechanisms on it. So you can get in there, get your snacks, all of that good stuff. And you also have your ATM machine as well. Right here, you're looking at the concierge desk and every day they will have a daily specials menu posted right there. You'll also be able to buy any tickets to the attractions that you wanna to go to around here as well. They'll let you know any discounts that you're able to get at these attractions and at the restaurants. So we're gonna go ahead and pan to the left and then we're gonna show you the left side of the building. As you walk down to this hallway right here, these are more of the public utilized things over here. So when you first get checked in, of course you, use, you need to use the bathroom, all that good stuff. You see right there that they have the restrooms right there. You have your water fountain. And so if you immediately pan to your left, okay, immediately in front of you, you see the elevators for the right, the left side of the tower. If you're looking at the building behind you, you will see where the luggage carts are housed. So if you ever come and you wanna know where the luggage carts are housed, they're gonna be some on your floor stashed away. And that's just people doing that, but this is where they really go. So right to the right of the elevators right here you will see the gift shop the gift shop has a little bit of everything and the prices aren't too inflated but we left our swimming shoes and they don't carry swimming shoes and i said this is a perfect opportunity for you to upsell on something that most people forget when they go on vacation and they did not provide those i thought that was really really weird and a missed business opportunity so if y'all come across this get some swimming shoes in your store so all right now that you've seen the gift shop we're gonna take this this right hand turn and then we're gonna take an immediate left 
and then we're gonna go out and we're gonna show you the lazy river have we enjoyed this lazy river yes we have it's really nice it's a good temper the water has a good temperature is it quick no it is a lazy river it is indeed a lazy river but it's a good size it seems like the children enjoy it big children enjoy it young adults enjoy it then as you continue to walk around you will see that they have a jacuzzi tucked away in the corner we have used this jacuzzi it's okay it's a lot of chemicals in there so if you get in there you will immediately feel itchy and your eyes will begin to burn this area over here if you keep on walking is where you start to utilize some of the indoor outdoor amenities so if you walk around here is where you end up to the outside pool so you have your picnic tables you have plenty of lounge chairs like I've never seen a day where there weren't plenty of lounge chairs available for people to enjoy all right now we're about to take you up a couple of steps and this is where you start to run into some of your guests favorite place here and it is the poolside bar the gentleman that runs this poolside bar is so pleasant he definitely knows his drinks he definitely knows how to customize things to your liking here is what they offer on the menu you can go ahead and get a still shot of that and that will help you out and I'm not saying that the prices are going to be the same when you decide to come here but you'll have an idea all right so now walking down the three steps from the beach side bar you will start to get into the pool area the pool area is they really maximized on the space out here it's not a lot of walking space there isn't a lot of crossover space so literally you have to walk all the way around to get to the other side but this is where you will find most of your people as well people are going to be at that poolside bar people are going to be in this pool enjoying themselves on their vacation or staycation there's usually an attendant out here that is able to give you some beach towels to utilize if you're going to the beach and or the pool but I will say from experience right now the beach towels have been limited so if you don't get out here early they're just going to give you regular drying towels from the bathroom so this morning as you see they are out here cleaning the pool and I love to see things like that it means that they have pride of ownership out here so we're going to pivot to the right but we're going to show you something to the left in just a moment so we are making our way around the pool and like I said there's a lot of walking around in circles to get around to everything over here on this outside because it is a very small space but they utilized it well this is one of the jacuzzi hot tubs as well what we have learned is that each one over here gets a little hotter and hotter so this one right here is not too bad at all like literally you can use it as a kiddie pool which in actuality that may be what it's actually for if you pivot to the right just a little bit you'll see that they have a three foot jacuzzi as well and I stand corrected this is a kiddie pool to the left so I stand corrected so what you're looking at right now is like i said two more and this one right here that's the first, the closest towards me is hot when i say it's hot forget what the rules said about staying in there no more than 10 to 15 minutes you cannot the one over here so usually people start off with the one closest to me they jump out and then they go over to that one right there so we're going to go ahead and pivot again and now you are going to see the inside pool area 
I know on the website you get a kind of, you know, you get a little confused about how it is utilized, where it is exactly. It's a lot of in and out, in and out. So they used a lot of their space very, very well. So I am standing right here at the pool area, as I said, and here is where you have your beach access. It is not anything that you need to use a key to get in and out of. It's open, but we haven't seen any like stragglers coming in and out or anything like that. Um, immediately, as soon as you walk onto the beach, you will see an attendant out there that's able to sell you, well, rent you your beach umbrella and your beach chairs. Um, as the day go on, those that rental goes down a little bit. But as you can see, the waves are roaring. It's peaceful out there. There is not a boardwalk on this end of the um, ocean on the boardwalk. So it's all sand. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna leave out of this area right here and we're gonna take a couple of steps which is going to lead us back towards the right side of the resort. And you've already seen these elevator banks before. But now we're going to take you upstairs. All right, as we begin to walk upstairs, this is where you will find a few goodies up here as well. It took us two days to realize that there was way, way more going on up here than what meets the eye. We didn't know. So here is the Indigo Coastal Kitchen. And this is where you can utilize your breakfast, lunch, and some semi-dinner. And as you see right here, just a little seating space right here and plenty plenty of seating for you to be able to enjoy your breakfast my family ate down here on the first night or well, the first morning and they said the food was delicious this also doubles as the bar when the poolside bar closes and we just found that out on yesterday <laughs> All right, so now that you've seen the dining area, you can keep on walking around. And here is the fitness center. Check that out. Very small, but who's really working out a lot on vacation? <laughs> All right, and as you can see, this is a lovely, lovely hotel slash resort. And I hope you enjoyed the tour. Stay tuned for our review of some of the things we loved and some of the things we did not love about this hotel resort coming soon. Check out the links below.